name is Sabrina Espalas. I am a lead medical assistant here at the Breathe Institute, and we will be going over CT scan protocols with you today. Let's go. So with the help of our medical assistant, Sam, we will be going over the CT scan protocols that we have developed here at the Breathe Institute. So the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is position Sam in the correct axial view. What we're gonna do first is put on a safety vest for her. So we will ask our patient Sam first to go ahead and lean all the way back onto the headrest. Once she's positioned properly on the headrest, we are gonna to have to go ahead and move her so that she can be in the correct axial view. What we're gonna do is align Sam on the vertical line that the CT scan shows and on the horizontal line that the CT scan shows. So come on over. The first thing that we're gonna wanna do is make sure that this vertical line is right before Sam's ear. So what we're gonna wanna do is bring her forward. And then we're gonna wanna bring her down a bit or up a bit depending on where the line stands, so that the horizontal line can be right below her lip. It is ideal that patients are also midline during the CT scan, so what I will ask Sam now is for consent so that we can move her head. Sam, is it okay if I move your head? Okay, we're gonna go ahead and move your head this way. So as we can see, Sam now has a good vertical line and a good horizontal line. What we're gonna do next is make sure on this side that Sam is not overextending her head backwards or not extending her head forward. It is important that we confirm that patients are not overextending their heads back or tilting their head forwards as that can alter the size of the headway. We will now instruct our patient on our CT scan protocols. Okay Sam, so during the scan, you wanna make sure you keep your head in natural head position. What you're gonna wanna do is look at yourself straight into the mirror and make sure you did not move during the scan. In addition to that, we want you to breathe exclusively through your nose. What that means is that your lips are going to be sealed and your teeth will be placed together. Lastly, when I go to the bag, I will instruct you to swallow once and then just allow your tongue to rest in its natural resting posture throughout the whole scan. Now, if you have a bite registration or a chin rest, we do not want to use those for the CT scan as well, as that can also alter the size of the airway. Taking a preview of our patient will be helpful in us identifying if we will need to reposition the patient. We have now taken a preview of the, of the patient, Sam, so we will go ahead and bring you over. And based on our preview, we can see that our protocols have been followed. Here at the Breathe Institute, we use CT scans to assess issues involving the airway and maxillofacial structures. Additionally, Dr. Coppelson, Dr. Zaki, some of our affiliates, and a couple of other providers have recently published a new research on how head and neck position can affect the measurements we take uh, with these CBCT scans. They found that certain postural changes can affect uh, the measurements for a patient's airway sizes by as much as up to 25 Make sure to check out the link below if you're interested in finding out more about Dr. Koppelson and Dr. Zaki's research. Here at the Breathe Institute, we constantly work at refining and updating our protocols. Feel free to comment below if you have any questions regarding the CT scan protocol and thank you so much for joining us today. Bye-bye.